So a lot of people has had the chance to already try Gotham Knights and the opinions are like, you know, flying around there. There's way too many people speaking about the game. It is only natural. The game is just in our doorstep. And I cannot wait. I myself cannot wait to get my hands into this game, make some guides about it, explore the game, play around with the stats and so on and so forth. But uh, for today, we're going to be speaking about what has been said about the game and so that we can have a little bit more informed decision on whether we would like to buy this game or not, purchase it or not. Anyways, remember to like the video, subscription to the channel is always appreciated, let's get right into the matter. So, let's start with the good things that have been said about the game from the people that have played it. Now, the very first thing that it, sees, it seems to be a consensus, at some extent, is the story and the characters. Pretty much every single content creator that I have been able to see their content on their previews for Gotham Knights and also some magazines like IG and so on and so forth, they have said that they like the characters. And the characters, despite uh, about some of the gameplay issues and some technical issues that the game might have, which is something that we will discuss later on in, in, in the game, what they rescue the most, what people seem to like the most, is characters. Red Hood, Bad Girl, Robin, Nightwing, and not only because of how they look, but how they interact in the game as well with the villains. So far, the higher spotlight that we have on the previews is, of course, by Harley Quinn. But when it comes to the development and their motives and what they are, it seems that at least not the apartment, they nailed what they were trying to do. The focus on this game is just leave Gotham out of Batman. And when you leave Gotham out of Batman, then the sidekicks, and not so much as a sidekicks, but like the partners, are it is up to them to bring up justice to the night city of Gotham. And they seem to have managed to actually deliver the intention that they had on these characters. It seems to most of the people that I play that they feel compelled to know their motives and that they actually do share some empathy with, with Batman and they share empathy between each other. I do know, we all know that there are some hiccups around here and there are based on motivations and personalities. Y you know, there's like Red Hood right here, which is always so violent and Nightwing trying to get the leadership of the squad being the oldest sidekick of Batman and all in all, all of that, if you are interested in that, that is where they seem to be nailing the thing. If you are this game, in this game just for the story, then you are just right in, in the right place and that is something that they did said. The decision of making this game not a full for player co-op multiplayer was specifically because of this. I know that there's a lot of people that get turned down because the game no longer has like the four player co-op, but it has to be mentioned that one of the facts, one of the reasons why this game was made only two player co-op was for the game not to interfere with the narrative section of it all. They do not want to place the emphasis on the multiplayer. There is multiplayer, it is a feature that it's right there for you, it is functional, you can play with your friends, but they did not want it to interfere with the main topic, which is the narrative, the character buildings, and what your character is going to be. Again, like I said, maybe a little bit redundant, but multiplayer is just a side feature, something that it is shown to you as a player, something that you can experience, but they do not want to take away the main thing, which is the story and the characters that everybody seems to be liking. And me personally, I love this discussion that's forming around the videos and, and the web about what your main character is going to be. Because there's even if you do not like the RPG elements of this game, I am pretty goddamn sure that the building community is going to build so many amazing meals for their main character, and that is going to be different, and you're going to be defining yourself as that main Gotham Knight. And the, another thing that has been said is that people do keep saying that they want more. This could be a negative to some extent, because... People have been saying so that, that, that they want to experience more. They they are not sure about what to say about the game because they were only allowed to play three hours in different pre-built sections for that specific build that they were allowed to be playing. 
But the thing is that every single person that I have seen speaking about this game says the very same thing, that they want more. And uh, that could go into all different directions, but uh, one thing that I would like to point out is that the main thing, like, dude, when you are left wanting for more, then that is because something is good. It's not because you have not just made your mind. I, I mean, me personally, if I speak from my bias, if I do not get caught up in a game as soon as I start playing, it is hard for me to actually bear with a game that I am not enjoying up to the point where the game gets interesting. Either the game gets interesting enough for me at the very beginning of my playthrough or it, it just doesn't, it doesn't click. Now, I wouldn't say that the game is clicking with, with everyone, but I am saying that people do want to keep experiencing this. They want to keep playing more when the build ended, when they were stopped, they were, <laughs> they had to be stopped by playing this game. They did say that they want to keep playing and keep coming back for more. Other interesting thing, Transmog, and this has been highly advertised and I cannot thank enough because this is like a two kind of things good of the game. That there is no microtransactions, this is official, this is true, this is amazing, there is not microtransactions. So, amazingly enough, the Transmog system has got them amazing. I have already covered the Transmog system in this game, but everyone seems to be enjoying it and it's only natural, dude. You can change the color pattern of your character without having to pay for that. It is kind of weird to have to mention that you don't have to pay it. It naturally should have been this way for every single video game. But you do have different skins, color skins. You can alter those skins so you have the main skin of your character, the main armor. You can change the visor, you can change the boots, you can change the gloves, you can change everything. And if you have a piece of equipment that you like that it's stronger, but it's not as cool looking as the previous one that you have. You can always transmog. One thing that I do not know, it is not completely clear, but it seems that you won't be able to change the color of the transmog armor. So if an armor is going to be on a different transmog, it has to have the base color. You cannot change the base color. At, at least it was not able to be done in the preview build that everyone in, it, it was trying and playing. But... That being said, it is amazing, like the transmit system in this game is just goddamn gorgeous and amazing. Moving on to the middle in between the combat. People are still debating if they like this as much as they like Batman Arkham Knight. It is very similar, but they do not know what's different yet. It needs more testing and this is at some extent tied up to what they say that they're wanting, trying to try a little bit more the game to try to feel a little bit more maybe develop their characters because they did have a pre-developed character how will it feel to actually develop your character your skills your builds your assets your mods uh, but when you take that away we're going to be discussing about that in the rpg elements of it all when you take all of that away it is still a game that feels much more like batman arkham knight and a lot of people has been saying that uh, despite not wanting, despite wanting to separate the game from one thing to another, you are still with the feeling that it's way too similar to Batman Arkham series. And while it is not on the very same universe, nor in the may, may, very same canon lineup, it is still something that is going to be reminded to you at all times, even when you try to ignore it. Uh, which leads us to the next portion of the video, which is the bad things that people speaks about this game, is the comparison, logically. Arkham Knight, Arkham series, I mean, I would very much love, I would definitely love to say to you, and to say to me as well, to separate this game from that titan. And to let this game have this opportunity to shine on itself. To have its own thing, to separate it from the master titan that it has from the shadow of the Arkham C uh, shadow uh, Arkham games. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But it is so very hard because it has so many similarities. I mean, a, being a Batman Universe game on itself, it's always going to trigger up the comparisons. But the combat system, it's at some extent similar. And one of the biggest comparisons that has been said about this game, this is also true this is one of the other bad elements of the game is that the graphics are not as good as Barkham, Batman Arkham Knight Barkham Arkham City <laughs> I'm sorry about that but you get the point 
That being said, this was a game, or this is a game that is advertised to be a next-gen only game. It used to be a cross-generational game, but sometime in between development they said, you know what, we want to focus on this game being just for the next game and performing as best as it can get and to offer you the best experience, next-gen only experience. And, well, if I'm being honest, I mean, Arkham Knight is still looking better than this game. At least on the artistic side of the po side of things, you do have to have in consideration that character models, once you close up, maybe they do have more polygons in here. Uh, and Arkham Knight, I did, when I did go back to Arkham Knight and try to close up, zoom in into some of the textures and models, it, it, it does look dated, but the way they build Arkham Knight, is that it looks so goddamn gorgeous with that illumination and just that gothic feeling that the game has. And yeah, I do have to say that I am with every single other person that has said this. I do believe that Arkham Knight looks better than Gotham Knights, which is kind of weird because this is a next-gen only title focused to be a next-gen only title. And Arkham Knight is a last-gen title that's still looking better than this thing. It does has to be said that it's probably because of art direction and development so on so forth it's not necessarily on the polygons or the assets or the tracing of light if it has ray tracing but the illumination on itself it's just arkham knight it's better another thing to have in mind is the rpg elements this is one of the bats but i wouldn't i wouldn't place it into one of the bats but every single person that has played this thing has categorized this thing to be one of the bats because they just want to kill people, they just want to fight people, they just want to punch people, they just want to experience the main narrative, the main story, and not having to worry about so many numbers that you have on the menus. But I do have to say that me personally as an RPG uh, enjoyer, I do love the RPG elements. I want to build my characters, I want to choose my main character, and my main character should have its very own build, and make different builds for different situations, you know, to deal with Mr. Freeze, maybe use a fire build against him and be more effective. But again, if you do not want to, you, you can just completely ignore which it is something that people has been doing and saying that they are just going to ignore these elements because they are not one of the main things that they want to experience this thing for. And it is completely fine. Again, RPG elements are a little bit criticized in this game, but I wouldn't say that they are altogether that bad to me personally as a person. But I do understand the side of things when people just see so many numbers in there and they just do not care about it. That is the main word that most of the people most of the people has been using they do not care about the numbers and that is completely understandable i can completely understand that but me as a person as a character as an rpg and enjoyer i know that i am going to be making whole lot of i know that i am going to be enjoying the content made for bills i'm going to be looking forward to see what nightwing mains are going to do with their bills what bad girl mains are going to do with their bills what red hood mains are going to do with their bills and i do hope that they nail the variation they do seem to have a simplified system that it's not too simplified on the numbers but some skills so on so forth so me personally i can tell you this much that i am excited to see what kind of bills will we able to make in this game do you have in mind just a little something before we close up the video that I do know that if you do not care about this thing, you can just do what every other RPG that includes these kind of things, like if, if it feels forced to you, you don't have to use it. They do have said in the interviews that if you make a deal, you're going to be more proficient, you're going to be stronger, but if it is not necessarily for, for you to make a deal, it is not necessarily, I'm sorry, for you to make a deal, you don't have to if you don't want to. Just as you traverse through the story, as you play through the game, gather up your gear, use the rarest thing possible and not worry about the numbers, you can turn off the numbers on the menu, so there is that. And that is pretty much a whole lot of cluster information that you might actually want to have in mind by playing this thing. When playing this thing, while well, thinking about purchasing this thing. That being said, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel before you close the door if you have not done so such this time. And uh, yeah, remember that no, if no one has told you today that you're a gorgeous and beautiful person, you are indeed a gorgeous and beautiful person. Have a beautiful day, and I'll be seeing you goddamn gorgeous and beautiful people in the next one. Goodbye.